So much a new era of policing in Jacksonville. That's what Sheriff TK Waters told people tonight at a packed prime Osborne Convention Center. Just hours ago, he revealed plans for how his officers will now patrol our city. Andrew Badillo is on your side tonight. He's live outside the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. So, Andrew, what will this new era look like? Yeah, Heather, Sheriff Water said that there will be new police zone patrol zoning districts in the city. Now, he said that this is based on years of compiling calls of service data from around the city. Now, in these new districts, Sheriff Water says that calls of service are going to be evenly distributed throughout all the districts in the city. He says it's good for police and for neighbors. I want to thank you all for joining us as we unveil the future of policing in Jacksonville. Things are going to look a little different at the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. New patrol cars and new districts. I thought it was amazing. Joy Burgess lives in the new District 3, leaving her old thoughts behind. I was telling my district offices, I came in with not a very positive impression of the police. It changed after hearing Sheriff T.K. Waters' new approach to policing. And each officers are going to be assigned to each different, every different subsector. Right, but they're much smaller than they used to be. Mm -hmm. That gets us in closer to the community where we can have more discussion. Mm -hmm. Lowers the number of calls for everyone so that we can have more discussion. For Burgess, that discussion has already begun. So I was telling them when we walk this area that we feel safe in, but our hearts start pounding when I see a bunch of police cars. I told my husband who carries his phone and is regulating his speakers on, the, on his back with the phone, whatever you do, do not make any sudden movements until we get past these police. A discussion leading to a new bond. I had to go up there and ask them, well, this is my concern because I walk. But I realized and I learned the lesson today is I need to speak up and not have these impressions of the police. Call. It was enlightening to, to speak with her. Uh, from the beginning of the conversation to the end, it was, uh, it, it, was, it was amazing. Now, Burgess still says she has some questions, but tonight was a great step in the right direction for her. The new districts go into effect on July 29th. If you have questions about how you can find your own district, that information can be found on the First Coast News app shortly. For now, we're live outside the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side.